that sort of thing. Obviously, you've just signed to appear on Glory 20 in Dubai next month. Can you tell us how this deal came about? Um, I just signed a contract for Glory 20 in Dubai. Uh, the deal came about, I basically, I, I've uh, proved myself, I think, in some of my fights um, for all over the world in, in K1. And also, uh, my last fight in last June was quite a bit ago against Nathan Epps. I dominated him over three rounds. But I've been over to Hammers Gym Holland twice sparring, which is the best in the world. Uh, top, ranked top 10 fighters in weight, so in my weight, and weights above me. And uh, I've been holding my own, and I think that demonstrated to Core and his son Nick um, that I was valid to fight on Glory and well, ready enough, more than ready. So you fought on the domestic scene, won ISK belts, competed in K1. You know, did you feel that Glory was that natural progression up the ladder? Um, do I feel that glory is a natural progression up the other? Yes, it is. Uh, but as well, I mean, I fought in K1. I sort of, I'm fight when I fight Michael Wigan, that's going to be uh, the Infusion World Champion. So I'm taking on the best in the world. When I, glory is the highest level I think uh, in kickboxing. Um, the only rival to it is K1. And uh, but I'm looking to fight in glory because I believe that's where. The big purses are, that's where the cash is and that's what it's about. It's, as a professional fighter, it's not just about going in there and fighting and fighting for the love of it. It's about going in there and also doing as good as you can do, but making money at the same time. Because if we don't make money, it doesn't make sense. So you fought on Glory 5 before. Can yeah. you tell us about the weight, you know, coming back to the promotion and, you know, your first experience and, you know, how you expect it to maybe have changed when you, you know, you're yeah. here in Dubai? Glory 5 London was a good experience, but obviously I was only an undercard fighter. Um, I fought Sam Wilson and beat him over three rounds. Um, but this time I'll be involved more in the proper weigh-in, proper press conference, everything like that. It'd be nice to be in there with the big names that are on the show. Robin Van Roos, Marlon Andy Riste, people like that. They're, they're big, na big names and you see them on BT Sport and things like that. It's good, good to see, but I've actually sparred with Robin, so um, it's... It's nowhere that I haven't been before. Do you know what I mean? I fought on K1 with Bacow and Enrico Cal and people like that. So it's it's no no big deal. You're facing an opponent from Turkey, Atkan last time. Yeah. Tell us what you know about him. Uh, Atkan Arzadan. I know he's uh, mainly Thai boxer. Um, but he's fought in glory before. He got beat on a very close fight against Jonathan Oliveira. Um, I believe his style suits me perfectly. I'm going to go in there and expose him. Um, he looks strong, he looks ripped, but no bodybuilder has ever been the best fighter in the world. So it's not about looking ripped, it's about doing what you do best and look good in the ring. And, uh, be as ripped as you want, but when you get in there, it's a different story. Now, these Europeans have a very gritty style of kickboxing. You know, how do you think you match up well against you know, that stylistically? Yeah, stylistically it suits me perfectly. I've always been able to be aggressive myself. I've gone spar in Holland, all the European countries. England is technically in Europe, but we have got a different way of fighting. Um, and I think my style is different to anywhere in the world. Mine's not an English style. It's not an, it's not an Eastern European style. It's not an American style. My, I like to think I've got the best of everything. And uh, I'm going to prove that on April 3rd, so... You know, you're not the only Brit on the card. G. Lewis Parry, Kevin Hanks uh, make up the contingent. You know, how do you think about more British guys getting a shot of glory overseas? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, it's about time they have come to me as well because uh, I believe that I've dominated the British scene for a while now. And uh, 70 kg, um, people avoided me, I believe. Um, not everyone, but now since I can't make 70 kg, uh, 75 kg, I've got this... I'm about to fight Michael Wakeham, but I'm going to prove that I am the best Britain's got to offer. And uh, I believe that my style, if anyone, is going to dom be able to dominate on the world stage as much as anyone else's. So. It'll be rude of me not to mention the Wakeham fight, um, as you've already alluded to. You know, how, how much are you looking forward to that? I'm looking forward to it. It's a massive fight. Everyone's talking about it. A lot of people are split on who's going to do, do what, but I know what I'm going into to do. Um, concentrated on April 3rd for now, but the game plan is ready for Wakelin. Um, but I'm just going to go in there and do what I'll do best on both nights and uh, focus on the job in hand. And then Wakelin be a good fight. I'm sure it, 
he'll be training hard because if he's not, he's daft. Thank you very much.